step into the quirky world of Perfect Strangers, a television series that captured the hearts of viewers in 1986. The show revolves around the unexpected and often hilarious experiences of Balky Bardicamus, a naive shepherd from the fictional island of Mypos, who moves to Chicago to live with his distant cousin, Larry Appleton. The odd couple dynamic between the earnest Balky and the more sophisticated Larry creates a comedic canvas for exploring cultural differences, friendship, and the challenges of city life. As you reminisce about perfect strangers, consider the diverse array of characters and their roles. Out of the many roles in this TV series, which one was your favorite? The charm of the show lies not only in the protagonists, but also in the supporting cast, each contributing a unique flavor to the sitcom. Amidst the laughter, Perfect Strangers has its share of poignant moments. Is there a particular scene or moment in this TV series that has had a lasting impact on you? Perhaps it's a moment of unexpected wisdom from Balky or a situation that resonates with your own experiences. Now, let's dive into some random facts about the show. Did you know that the iconic dance of joy performed by Balky? and Larry was initially improvised by the actors. The chemistry between Mark Lynn Baker and Bronson Pinchot brought an authentic and spontaneous energy to the screen. And here's an interesting tidbit, Perfect Strangers wasn't an instant hit. Despite a slow start, the series gained popularity over time, eventually becoming a beloved classic that left a lasting mark on 80 Seconds Television. Before we wrap up, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your connection to Perfect Strangers adds another layer to the rich tapestry of its fandom. So, out of the many roles, which one was your favorite? Is there a particular scene or moment that has had a lasting impact on you? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. And that's the story of Perfect Strangers, a sitcom that blended humor and heart, creating a lasting impression on audiences. Stay tuned for more nostalgic trips down TV memory lane. Mark Lynn Baker and Bronson Pinchot, both Yale alumni, brought their shared educational background to the small screen in the 1986 TV series Perfect Strangers. Not only did both actors earn undergraduate Bachelor of Arts degrees, but they also pursued graduate Masters of Fine Arts degrees in drama from the prestigious Ivy League University. The series, known for its comedic portrayal of the cultural clash between Balky, played by Bronson Pinchot, and his American cousin Larry, played by Mark Lynn Baker, featured distinctive opening credits from season three through its conclusion. The credits showcased a scene of Balky, and Larry riding on a tour boat underneath a bridge spanning the Chicago River. Interestingly, this iconic bridge made a crossover appearance in the opening credits of Perfect Strangers spin-off series, Family Matters. In the latter show's opening credits, the Winslow family is seen riding their bikes over the very same Chicago River Bridge during seasons 1-3. Beyond the screen, Bronson Pinchot shared an unexpected connection with Nelson Mandela who was revealed to be a big fan of Perfect Strangers. While attending a banquet in South Africa, Pinchot received a note from Mandela's assistant expressing Mandela's desire to meet him. Though the meeting didn't happen, Pinchot later encountered Winnie Mandela at the same event. These intriguing facts offer a glimpse into the unique blend of education, cultural exploration, and unexpected connections that contributed to the success and memorable moments of Perfect Strangers. Larry, the central character in the 1986 TV series Perfect Strangers, navigated not only the comedic clashes with his cousin Balky, but also a sizable family dynamic. Despite having eight siblings, only his brother Billy and sister Elaine made appearances on the show. This glimpse into Larry's family life adds an interesting layer to the series, showcasing the selective inclusion of characters from his extensive clan. As Perfect Strangers unfolds, viewers witness the interactions of Larry not just with Balky, but also with the limited representation of his large family, shedding light on the complexities of his personal relationships. Bronson Pinchot's journey into the iconic role of Balky in Perfect Strangers took an interesting turn. Initially hesitant due to concerns about similarities with his Beverly Hills cop character, Pinchot changed his mind after a trip to Greece, inspired by the generosity he experienced. 
This decision led to the creation of a character that became a central figure in the 1986 TV series, adding a unique flavor to the dynamic with Larry. As Perfect Strangers reached its eighth and final season, the paths of the lead actors diverged. Bronson Pinchot ventured into the trouble with Larry, portraying an American named Larry in a short-lived sitcom. Meanwhile, Mark Lynn Baker took the stage in Neil Simon's laughter on the 23rd floor, playing a Russian immigrant. These post-perfect strangers' endeavors showcased the versatility of the actors beyond the sitcom realm. Interestingly, the connection between Perfect Strangers and its spin-off, Family Matters, almost took a different route. The writers had initially planned for Mark Lynn Baker and Bronson Pinchot to guest star as Larry and Balky in the Family Matters pilot, but the scene was cut before filming, altering the course of sitcom history. In the realm of television, choices and twists of fate often shape the narratives we come to know and love. The journey from initial skepticism to the enduring legacy of perfect strangers reveals the intricacies of casting decisions and the ripple effects they can have on the entertainment landscape. Mark Lynn Baker and Bronson Pinchot, the sole consistent faces across all 150 episodes, steered perfect strangers through its entire run. Their on-screen chemistry and comedic timing became the bedrock of the show's success. Notably, while Larry navigated the comedic clashes with Balky, the show strategically brought in only two of Larry's eight siblings, Billy and Elaine, offering a selective glimpse into his extensive family dynamics. Beyond the screen, the real-world locations of Larry and Balky's apartments add a touch of reality to the sitcom's backdrop. The Santa Rita Hotel and later the Chicago Apartment Building though altered over the years, still stand as tangible remnants of the show's history. This unassuming choice of filming locations contributes to the enduring legacy of perfect strangers, showcasing how the show embedded itself in both fiction and reality, leaving a lasting mark on television history. In the opening credits of Perfect Strangers, Larry and Balky attend a play advertised as Neil Simon's The Odd Couple. Interestingly, this play had been adapted into the TV series The Odd Couple, which aired on the same network as Perfect Strangers, ABC. Notably, both shows shared Friday nights for a significant portion of their series run. This subtle nod in the opening credits reveals a connection between the two sitcoms, providing a glimpse into the television landscape of the time. The overlap in scheduling and the reference to the odd couple hint at the network's strategic programming decisions and the broader context in which Perfect Strangers found its place. This interconnectedness sheds light on the subtle influences that shaped the television industry, impacting the viewing experience for audiences of the 1986 TV series Perfect Strangers. As we bid farewell to the whimsical world of perfect strangers, let's take a moment to traverse the corridors of nostalgia and reflect on the unique tapestry of moments this 1986 TV series wove into the fabric of our lives. From the bustling streets of Chicago to the comical escapades of Balky and Larry, Perfect Strangers was more than a sitcom. It was a voyage into the intricacies of friendship and the joy of embracing life's eccentricities. As you ponder the quirks of Balky's Myposian wisdom and Larry's perpetual exasperation, consider the resonance of these characters in your own journey. Were they the companions on your laughter-laden evenings? Did their escapades mirror your own exploits in the pursuit of an uncharted American dream? We invite you to share your most cherished memories and profound reflections on perfect strangers. Whether it's the infectious catchphrase, don't be ridiculous, or the heartwarming camaraderie that left an indelible mark on your heart, your experiences are the threads that enrich the tapestry of this timeless series. Connect with fellow enthusiasts, indulge in the nostalgia, and let the anecdotes flow. What lessons did perfect strangers impart to you? Did it teach you the value of embracing the unconventional, or did it simply serve as a comforting companion during life's twists and turns? Thank you for embarking on this journey down memory lane with us. Your stories, reflections, and musings make the world of perfect strangers a living, breathing testament to the enduring power of storytelling and shared experiences. So, dear reader, let your memories unfold and your thoughts dance in the realm of perfect strangers. Share your tales and let the laughter and warmth of this beloved series echo through time. Gratefully yours, the Perfect Strangers Enthusiast Community.